Hello everyone and welcome back to part 3b. Uh, this will be the um, continuation off the list manipulation portion and again I'm going to emphasize it again as I did in the last video. This is the most important lesson in my opinion so uh, if you really want to be good at Grasshopper I think this is the lesson you should really pay attention to. <coughs> so let's get on to it. So in the last one we did um, we focused all the lines to one point and um, so yeah, we're going to do the same thing except if we turn this off. Let's say if we didn't do a list item, we remember what happens if we didn't do a list item, it would be the, let me plug this in, you would just have these vertical lines. As you can see, it kind of draws from one point to another constantly and that's all it does. Now, what happens if we skip one of the points? So once we draw this, this, and it actually starts here, and it keeps drawing it diagonally the rest of the way. So basically, we're just going to eliminate a point here. We're going to eliminate one of the points in the list, because right now, the list is reading out the same thing here, 0 through 9, and 0 through 9. So what happens if we remove one of these 0 through 9s? Once you remove the point 0, once you remove the point 1, it, um, so we're going to learn how to do that today. And I'm going to delete this real quick. So we're going to do another. This is basically the same formula. Uh, so I can actually copy and paste it, but I'm not going to do it for this one. So um, if you if you are learning Grasshopper, I would recommend not copying and copying and pasting scripts. It just makes it harder for you to learn, and it's a little bit confusing for you to understand. So I'm going to type like how I learn. I always type everything out even if it's the same exact thing because it kind of solidifies it into your muscle memory and kind of head on how these things work. So I'm just going to type everything out for you guys. So construct, con, construct, point. then we're going to do move. We know this is zero, zero, so we have zero, zero, zero. So construct point, move, x, and then the series. And we're going to use the same numbers, so I'll just move these into here. Plug this into here. The motion x, and then we're going to move this geometry. So I'm actually going to hide all this other stuff. There we go. So right now it has these points, and we're actually going to do another move as well. Because it's the same thing here. Y direction. And you move it up to 5. So yeah, that's it for that. And now we're going to do, instead of a list item, so this is the kind of the star of the less, of last lesson, we're going, or the last part, now we're going to do a call index instead. So let's pull up our panels again to help us understand this. So I'm going to pull up my panels. And um, to extend them out, you just click at the edge and just drag it like this. So it, you see they're reading both 0 through 9. So basically it's saying, when I do a cult index, it's saying which one am I going to eliminate. Am I going to eliminate 0? Am I going to eliminate 1, 2, or 9, or, you know, either one. So let's do that right now. I'm going to eliminate one of the top ones. So we're going to look at this panel. So as you can see... This has 0 through 9 right now, or technically 1, or not technically, but 1 through 10 if you want to think about it that way. So, call index. As you can see, it says call or remove index removes index removes elements from a list, or call, um, it just removes one element, which is this counts as an element. So, right now it's set at, it's an empty parameter, so it's not saying anything. So, I'm going to remove... Uh, let's just say two for right now. So the entices matches with this. Indices, not entices. Um, the two and two here. So I'm just going to make a number slider two and plug it into the indices. And then the list. And then you plug in the list into the geometry. As you can see, it highlights everything but that one point we have. And we can kind of drag it around and see how it does. So zero is that point, as you can see. Zero is here. One is here, and then so on and so forth. As you can see, and then when you hit ten, it goes back. Oops, when you hit ten, it goes all the way back. So, as 
So we're going to remove this point right here, this third point. And let's see what happens when we draw a line real quick. So line, we're going to use this bottom geometry and this top geometry. And as you can see, it does make, it literally skips that one point. It completely skips the fact that that point is there, which is what we want. So it completely skipped that point. If we want to remove, let's say, this bottom point, because I don't want that line drawn there, let's say. We would have to do another cult index on the bottom, on the bottom portion. So we know this is the top, and this is the bottom. So we already cult indexed the bottom part, or no, sorry, cult index the top part. Now we do the bottom part if we want to do that. So let's do a cult index. And I know that I want the last point gone, so it's going to be 9. So I can just click 9, fill in the parameter for that list and then instead of this plugged all the way into here we're going to plug it into here as you can see it eliminates that point from the list so if we to give you guys more of a visualization i'm going to use another panel to help you guys understand it so this is what cult index does you can i think this will clear up a lot of things so see Cult index, this is 0 through 9, and now it's 0 through 8. Same thing here. If we go to a panel, plug it in here, and scroll down. And if we compare it to, let's say, this one right here, 0 through 8 and 0 through 9. So eliminated literally the ninth one. See, there's no ninth one here. This one I eliminated 2. So it'll be 0, 1, 3. 0, 1, 0, 1, 3. So, so yeah, that's um, that's that part. So all we did really was move or eliminate that one point here. So this was just basically a um, how to use cult index. So this is, I think, one of the most important ones. Cult index, very important. And we just drew a line for the visualization of how the point is manipulated. So let's say I wanted number three. So you can see you can kind of scroll through it to see how it works. And 10 or 0 will eliminate this one. And 9 will eliminate the um, this final point right here. So let's scroll through this and see. So you can have a straight line. So these two are literally the ones that are cult indexed right now. And we can drag it out. And you can see the bottom work. And you can see the top work. So... So yeah guys, that's it for this part of the tutorial. Um, it's using a cult index. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, 